Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of LJ Law, Family Law TV. I am Bonnie Leonardo, owner of LJ Law and your host. Today's question today comes from Melinda, and she wants to know, does she have to follow the court order that says that she cannot close the joint checking account between her and her husband during their divorce? Before I get started answering that question, I want to remind you that if you have questions about this topic or any other family law topic, don't hesitate. Go to VegasDivorceMeeting.com. I'll be more than happy to sit down with you to discuss your particular situation. So Melinda is going through a divorce at the moment. The issue that she's having is that they have her and her husband have a joint checking and savings account. Her check goes into their joint account and the husband has been withdrawing monies from the joint account rapidly um, and she does not she no longer wants to put the money into the joint account and so she is closing the joint account opening up her own account to put her checks into that new account although i understand that her frustration that she's you know putting money in and the money's being taken out and she has no control over it i also need to impart on her and on all of you watching that during a divorce, the court has what they call a joint preliminary injunction. This is a court order that stops the parties from closing any accounts. That includes checking and savings account, opening up new accounts, uh, using credit cards at the limit, up to the limit, uh, violence, any violence between the parties. Basically, the JPI, as it is called, mandates the parties from closing, taking couples out of each other's uh, insurances, canceling anything that is, uh, that is active. Things must remain status quo, meaning everything that you were doing prior to filing for the divorce must continue until the divorce has been finalized. So Melinda, although I understand what you were saying, there are different recourses for you to take than to violate the JPI by closing out your joint checking and savings account. If you want to discuss this further, please go to vegasdivorcemeeting.com. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you know someone who can benefit from this information, please share this video with them. And as always, I want to thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time.